writer named Vishrut has come up with a unique technique for desalination of water using membrane filtration technology wherein they use customized membrane to produce naturally mineralized potable water. Water, the essence of life, covers more than two-thirds of our planet's surface. Yet the need for fresh water continues to grow. Much of the Earth's water is saline, making it unsuitable for human consumption and agriculture. But what if there were a practical method to upgrade the current desalination process? In today's episode of Changemaker, we have with us Vishrut, who is working on developing a solution for water desalination using cutting edge membrane filtration technology. With their innovative approach, they are addressing pressing challenges of freshwater scarcity and sustainability. Welcome Vishrut. Hello sir. Could you please provide some insight about yourself and your innovation? Sure sir. So, uh, to start up, my name is Vishrut and I belong from Sangam city, Prayagraj. I have been located with the banks of Ganga river. But then for my undergrads, I moved to Kerala, where we have women's, uh, what's say, coastal line sharing with the saline water. I started my education over there in uh, bachelor's in architecture, and I've recently completed uh, my graduation. Uh, over there, I could see a lot of uh, innovative things and innovative approaches which people were taking. And that's how I began my uh, journey of innovation. So which problem does your innovation aim to solve? So majorly what uh, we are trying to tackle is freshwater scarcity. Uh, we have recently seen a very major pandemic which was uh, created by COVID-19. But the upcoming pandemic which we all are unaware or I, I must say like partially aware about is, is that the water scarcity issue. Then in 2018 when I joined the college that was the year when our initial uh, let's say a baseline flood uh, flood came in Kerala in 2019 it got struck very badly and I was there in NSS camp over there and due to that I got a chance to get connected with the people who were living near the coastal areas what happened over there was the backwater bodies which were flooded with the fresh rainwater they came towards the surface and the surface water which was available for the people it became saline Seeing that, me and my uh, friends at that time who were there in the camp, we tried to make a small miniature setup which was working on the principle of condensation and evaporation. A very many, uh, smaller one which sailor boats use for getting the fresh water. That's what we developed and provided to the people who were living over there. And that's where I could understand that if this much amount of saline water is available, why not try to use this as a resource and get fresh water out of it? And this was not a very first move. We have seen a lot of industries which are already existing in the market who are already working in the same domain. But there were a lot of issues which were uh, coming over there, which I look forward to discuss with you. Yes. Uh, Vishrut, what inspired and motivated you to create this innovation? Uh, so, people I met over there during the floods and I could, uh, uh, when I went to help them clean the houses and when I uh, help them migrate from over there, I could see the problem which they were facing uh, and that's what made me uh, get concerned about them and then I thought like I should do something and I should look forward for this. That's how I formulated a small team of people who were having, uh, let's say, keen interests and I would say a little bit expertise into the uh, aspects which I was looking forward to develop for. Could you please explain how your product works? So, uh, right now, sir, if you see the market, it is flooded with RO membrane which is known as river osmosis membrane, which covers almost three foot of the market. And other than that, the UF and other smaller membranes, which are trying to uh, tackle the uh, what's it, uh, scarcity issues, which are existing in different parts of the world. But the problem which comes with these membrane is that the recurring cost of changing these membranes is a lot. Every six months or three months, you have to replace them. And it goes to waste because there is no usage of it. Due to this thing, there is a lot of environmental impact which is getting created with this. Seeing all of that, when we started the setup, we were working on a very basic principle. But when we went into the depth of it, when we read through papers, we could understand what is existing in the market. We could analyze the market and that's when we went into the membrane development aspect. So what is new in this membrane is we are using graphene oxides. Graphene oxide is the master of all the materials and components which will be there in the future. It is there from the clothing to the eating, every segment in the market now. And that's when it has a lot of strength 
it has a lot of qualities which makes it stand ahead of all the other current existing materials now what exactly we are doing with that material is we are combining it with some different kind of chemicals and combinations where we are getting a composition and we have fabricated this in house in an attic alcohol where we are trying to uh, develop a membrane uh, through which once we uh, follow the process of regular osmosis it can be cleaning the water and once the water is clean and it is portable you can do a reverse flux and clean the membrane so what it does is that it it makes the membrane stand out it makes the membrane get a longer life how because it reduces the issue of foliage so once the foliage of the membrane uh, the organic components they are not settling on it the life expectancy of any membrane increases to immense now once the life of the membrane increases the recurring cost of replacement is also reduced so seeing all of these things we can say once the membrane gets ready and it is introduced in the market the demand and supply of this will be an immense one that's where we are ma uh, making an innovation and a change great uh, vishnu what sets your product is different from other existing products in the market uh, sir if i may uh, give little brief about the existing technologies right now as i mentioned uh, most of the uh, industry experts are using membranes which are related to the ro or the reverse osmosis process these uh, membranes have been prevalent in the market from longer time or i must say 2 to 3 decades already and there is no new innovation which is coming into it seeing that uh, when once our market our product comes into the market what it brings a change is it will have a longer life as i mentioned the life expectancy of the membranes which are already existing is not longer that is what makes it different apart from that other components like the sedimentation filter the carbon nano and all these filters are pretty similar we haven't innovated any part in that we are majorly focused into the membrane which is playing, playing a critical part in removing the salt ions from the water that's where the membrane becomes effective sir. as water is a fundamental human need and desalination plays a vital role in addressing saline water sources i imagine you must have received positive feedback for your innovative ideas how has the response been from the people around you yes sir if i uh, would like to uh, share a personal experience like uh, once we were developing this setup uh, we got connected with the professors from our college itself uh luckily or fortunately i would uh, i would say our college is in kerala and uh, over there we have lot of uh, let's say resources of backwater bodies so once we were developing this we used to go to uh, uh these places to collect the water samples and try to uh, filter them once we were doing this thing our college uh, uh, in a way if i may say they became our first uh, customer because uh, they mentioned that the moment our system gets ready they would like to install it into the uh the what's a uh, system uh, into the canal which we are having next to our uh, college so that they can get the supply of fresh water through it so this was the first hand experience which we got as a i would i must say the customer interaction that was a positive feedback apart from this we have been into uh, multiple competitions and conferences whenever we go to these places the uh, the kind of response which we get from the people and the jury members over there is very positive because they are very curious about the new kind of membrane we are developing the new change we the new shift we are trying to get into we are uh, very proud to say that we are among the top 100 startups uh, under the young innovators program uh, organized by kela startup mission and uh, they have been mentoring us as well so their response as well uh, for, towards this product has been uh, very supportive and our incubation center uh, techno uh, tpi and it calicut they are also one of our customers because uh, they also mentioned the moment we get it uh, get it ready they would uh, take it through the first part vishrut you are the proud winner of national innovation contest can you please share your experience participating in nic and how has your involvement in nic influenced your entrepreneurial journey uh, sir if i may uh, address this thing in 2019 june when we applied for this competition we were very much unaware about what is coming to us as a team when i started uh, the proposal part of it uh, we understood that this would be something a uh, short one to two month thing or a very smaller kind of competition generalized hackathons or something but the moment we got shortlisted amongst the top 24 teams which were called for the boot camp and the mentoring round in delhi aict headquarters in uh, september we were amazed with the people and the kind of uh, let's say support we got over there 
the kind of lectures into the finance, the startup settlement, the IP filing, and different kind of uh, let's say supports which we could get at that point of time when we were starting our journey was very different for me. And that was the point, if I may say, the pivot for me when I understood that this is something which I want to do. This is something which calls me for, and that's where uh, MIC has been a very bigger support from me. Apart from this, IIC at NIT Calicut. The moment uh, uh, we started our journey with IIC, uh, I became the innovation uh, ambassador over here, and I was handling the innovative uh, projects in our campus, uh, where all the supports and guidance which I have received from ministry, I could transfer it to my juniors and colleagues and peers. Uh, if I may even address like the kind of trainings which we got in between the COVID time as well, like if I mentioned the angel investor. Uh, investment ones uh, like where uh, the leap angels gave us a workshop on what all kind of uh, let's say developments we have to do in a, a startup what all things we required in the initial stage and once the product is ready and all other aspects was not easily available to us which we couldn't understand of, on our own the rounds of uh, trainings which we got from ministry and uh, different uh, let's say uh, rounds in the uh, webinars which we had in multiple stages from the starting towards the end has been of immense help I would wholeheartedly thank Ministry of Education uh, and uh, Ministry of Innovation uh, for uh, providing all of these supports. Now, Vishay Sir, Deepin Sir, all the all the people who are associated with this for providing us this support and all the mentorings which we have got as of now. And we look forward to have a very long, let's say, longer collaboration with them and uh, share the learning experiences together. Thank you. Thanks, Vishrut. Uh, Vishnu, could you share the challenges you faced during your journey and how you overcome them? Yes, sir. Uh, as we all know, like we all got stuck by COVID nineteen uh, in twenty twenty, and that was the time I would say our startup was on the peak because we were into the development of the membrane because we had read all the papers. We have we were all set to start of the trials and the fabrication part of it, but the moment this got stuck. We were stuck with the things which we had in our hand, and we couldn't uh, develop the things because the lab was not available. That was one of the biggest challenge because when you try out something new, you need a curated system to work on it. But we we didn't stop at that time. What we did, uh, because as I belong from the northern side of India and my college is in the southern side, I still carried out things which was which were possible over here. I got support from uh, Abhishek sir and uh, the team. Uh, who helped me and guided me uh, that whatever possible colleges are there in my hometown over here, you go over there and try to develop things which were possible. So instead of the uh, time wasting for just uh, believing in like what to do, what to do, we were actually working parallelly with the COVID nineteen struggles. So that was the biggest challenge. But even during that time, the supports uh, with the team and from the ministry we had was very helpful for us, uh, for uh, keeping us moving. Ahead. I'm sure you have received some recognition for your interesting innovation. Could you share few of them with us? Yes, sir. So in 2019, uh, first of all, the moment we got shortlisted for the national uh, boot camp, we were recognized by our college itself that you are among the top innovative ideas in the campus. That was the first recognition we got parallelly to uh, NIC 2019. Apart from that, we went for multiple competitions, and if I may address a few of them, uh, one of the most uh, proud achievement for us was amongst the top hundred innovative ideas in Kerala, which was organized by uh, Kerala Startup Mission, uh, Mission KSUM. Uh, the competition was known as Young Innovators Program. So we got a support for three years continuous mentoring and funding support from them, parallelly to MIC and IC part. We uh, apart from this, we even went for multiple. Idea pitching and proposals. Where interface 2019, we were the winners of the best idea pitching round over there. Then uh, some organizations in Bangalore and uh, I would say IITs as well organized. We were the participants over there as well. So we uh, like would say like without the supports which we had at the back or the confidence which uh, MIC has boosted in us, we wouldn't have gone to these platforms and have would have got these recognitions. So uh, whatever we have achieved as of now. It's just because of MIC support. Vishnuth, how you will ensure that your products meets quality standards? Uh, that is a very big responsibility towards uh, our team, sir. Because if uh, I have to say that we are providing something which is a basic necessity 
of every individual in day to day life water is something which we need to have in our every aspect from cooking drinking bathing to all domains so when we are developing something which is a basic necessity we have to be very careful we have some set standards as per the government regulations we are trying to take them as our uh, say benchmarks and trying to produce the best portable parts which are achievable and uh, trying to get the lab testing from our college uh, in the first hand with the teams which we are having over there apart from that the water regulation authorities we are taking support from them as well to check and test the water qualities which we are producing is it as per the standard or not this is something which we are taking as our uh, main uh, objective that until unless the water gets to the best we are not producing the uh, system which is good for the market until that time once the th uh, things get to the benchmarks which are set up by the uh, what's it which with our team and the uh, what's it uh, ministry we would go ahead with that yes cost efficiency is also a very important aspect how will you ensure cost efficiency of your product for the end users once it is out in the market yes mother as i was mentioning uh, like the membrane we are developing the recurring cost of uh, membrane uh, replacement is very less so if i may explain this with the example of a household system so we have ro uh, what's say purifiers in our home and every 6 months we have to change the ro membrane which is installed over there the cost which is uh, dealt into the replacement of it service for a person's fee and the a new membrane cost that will be uh, going towards the half or even one fourth of it because the membrane which we are developing that would be one time cost that once you buy a membrane that would go for minimum one to two years and it can very effectively clean itself and it will be even producing less waste as much as we we are having towards the current system so that's where the cost part of it getting reduced because the replacement cost cost and the recurring cost of it will be reduced by very much yes mic aict is providing you support have you received any support from other sources whether financial or otherwise uh, we have got a uh, support from iedc uh, around uh, like around uh, some 5 to 10000 in the initial stages when we were developing apart from this as i mentioned the interface 2019 as we were the winners we got some around uh, a sum of amount of 25000 from them apart from this uh, we have got a uh, smaller uh, amount of supports from uh, different uh, personal uh, systems as well wherever we have gone some angel investors or some other people apart from this uh, tbi nit calicut has given us uh, uh, what's it all sort of supports mentorings which we were looking forward and uh, the middle of education the support which we have got from them uh, has been enough uh, i must say for the trials and the testing which we have been doing up till now now we look forward uh, for uh, what's it going for some investment rounds and we are trying to uh, get some more points into the mark so that we can go further in this field many young innovators are watching this uh, session what advice would you give to newcomers considering starting their own venture vishrut hear this question i remember myself uh, i was a person i was like oh i will just try this thing let's see what happens so that was something which i had a attitude towards uh, the uh, competitions and different uh, what's say platforms which uh, during my undergrad time uh, one uh, very important thing which i would like to uh, uh, give as a message to all the innovators upcoming innovators i must say that always believe in yourself that you are the one who is going to bring the change never be hesitant to share your ideas share your thoughts be very vocal about it because the until unless you share the idea which you are having in your mind you will never know if that idea is even viable for the person whom you are developing it for or not you need to understand the market and the end user whoever is getting using uh, your service or product for if you understand them you will be getting a very uh, directive or very corrective set of system of uh, service or product apart from this one very important thing is that during this entire journey of 3 years i have been very patient and consistent never lose hope in your product never lose hope in your team always be a very good strength and a very good team leader try to understand the personal aspects as well apart from the professional things because your personal and professional always go parallel once you understand a person you understand the problems which they are trying to go or go with and once you understand all of that they give their all the system all the things whole heartedly so have some patience have the consistency and you can do anything in the world 
very important thing never lose hope uh, vishrut what are your future plan for the business uh, i am very much excited if i may say about the product because we are almost towards the end of it because uh, the membrane is uh, i would say 80% ready because some testings and trials are going on once that gets ready we are very much ready to go into the market and disrupt it with the best possible things which we are having in our hand thank you so much vishrut thank you so much for joining this session and, uh, all the best for your venture thank you thank you so much addressing world's water crisis is a collective responsibility and innovative technology will play a crucial role to ensure a brighter future for generations to come vishrut and his team is leading the way towards a world where fresh water is no longer a scarcity in the upcoming episode of change maker we will have the opportunity to interact with another inspiring innovator until then namaskar jai hind